Hi, I'm Kelly Shutnick, and this is my video book review. Today we are looking at Think Like a Rocket Scientist by, I'm going to guess on the pronunciation, Ozan Verrill. Not sure if I got that right, but also my last name is Shuknek, so no one ever gets it right. <laughs> so first of all, this is not a leisurely book. I typically read 10 pages of a nonfiction book every day, and sometimes I'll read more if I can finish up a section or a chapter by reading a few more pages. I found myself doing the exact opposite with this book. I would look to see where a section ended, and sometimes I would only read eight or nine pages if I knew that reading the next section would take me over my 10 pages for the day. The book is amazing, but it is filled with so much information. In one 10 page block, the author covers a story about Einstein related to thought experiments. Then he goes deeper into thought experiments. Then he uh, segues into a story about Nikola Tesla, then Leonardo da Vinci, then Galileo. Next, he discusses Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger, who performed an experiment that killed his cat, which then leads to a lesson around idioms related to curiosity, i.e. curiosity killed the cat. He then tells a story how instant photography was invented, which is related to the curiosity of a child, which then leads to a story about a kindergarten class. Then he brings up Einstein again and weaves that with the story about Isaac Newton. All of this in 10 pages. <laughs> so much information. At the end of the book, though, the author offers some resources for readers who want to take a deeper dive into what they learned in the book. I'll definitely be doing this because I think for me, it'll take me some time to study the principles from the book in order to put them into action. I thought this book was fantastic, but I was just a little bit overwhelmed by the end of it. It's definitely worth reading, but just know if you do read it that it will take some time to digest everything that it includes.